A violent clash broke out between two groups on Friday afternoon at Laitumkra locality in Shillong. According to reports, a fight between the two groups took place near DHS office at Laitumkra. An angry mob torched two vehicles and a bike during the clash. According to reports, a group tried to file an FIR at Laitumkra Beat House. However, another group also turned up and prevented the first party from filing an FIR that led to the heated argument in the police station. Local MLA and the Cabinet Minister Amar Prindyang said people who are responsible will have to be taken to task. Stating that there is no communal clash, she said there are brawls between two groups coming from different locations. The Cabinet Minister, who is also the spokesperson of MDA government, said there should be a system where medical tests must be made compulsory. Leong To further said police did not fail. They were there to avert the situation. Station. So, what is the reason for behind this attack? Um, actually, what happened was uh, uh, there was a scuffle between uh, two groups of uh, uh, people actually, uh, whereby one person wanted to go towards Bagyakul and the other had blocked the road. Uh, led to an exchange of words. Later on, these people again met and uh, they ex again they exchanged words and led to a scuffle. Uh, one party rushed to the thana immediately the other party also followed so uh, the other party had given file in well, file in, had filed an fir by then some or some people and some the mob some uh, persons had come and uh, were against the fir being filed uh, against the second party so there was commotion in the thana and in that commotion uh, more people came uh, then uh, in, when a lot of people came and all out there, the matter was being sorted out and all. While the matter was being sorted out, the arson took place. But uh, who are these uh, two parties? Uh, is it true that uh, it is a, uh, a fight between the locals and non-tribals? Uh, yes, one party is actually the non-locals and the other party is the local. How many vehicles were involved? See the police gypsy and then uh, one vehicle which is uh, by the side of that, that's partially just partially burnt, and another bike, which is that also is partially. Any arrest? Right now, we've investigated the case. Appropriate action will be taken. What led to the arson? There may be some reason which prompted them to resort to arson. Uh, see, in fact, uh, the parties where the parties who actually had that scuffle uh, had. You know, this probably had spilled over to the mob, and the mob at that time, 12, 12 30, 1 o'clock, um, just took the law into their own hands. We appreciate the fact that young people have to have places to meet every evening. This is the same problem that's happening in Khandaila. These brawls that are happening in these popular areas where young people like to hang out is not giving us peace. My request to the police was, no one is above law. Law shall be supreme and anyone who is responsible for any wrong action has to be taken to task. and. Further on, inquiries will give us more information. Fortunately, Limecraft Police Station Beat House is fully under CCTV surveillance. We will try to build all of these incidences and we have to appeal to young people, be kind to the people who allow you to hang out on their roads. I think you have seen this again and again, videos that go viral, cars raving round and round my roundabout in police point.